Connor, how are you doing? Well, Scott, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Um, heard a lot about Josh Revis and Noah Johnson this summer. Who, who were some of the other guys in your offensive line that you're, you're really up at a time with so many or, or in? Well, one guy that I've really been impressed with and just such a um, evaluation evaluates uh, Christian Duffy, I, who is continuing to get more and more confidence. And with that confidence, he's continuing to play faster and um, been very pleased with to this point. Uh, Bandler is a guy, it's, it's his opportunity. And he, he's both right guard and center position. So we're putting more on, on his, um, he's been, he's, he's, he's done well so far and he has to step up because the amount of uh, ability that he truly has is, is Katori. So um, I've seen flashes of it. We need more consistency and you guys know me. Consistency is going to be such a huge, huge factor. And so uh, it, with those guys and then, um, you know, Cooper Beebe um, competing for a starting job this year, uh, Dawson Delforge, one of the uh, young men that we brought in this past fall. I've been very pleased with how quickly he's picked things up. Um, he's a guy who needs to step up. And uh, the transition of Logan Long, we're going through some bumps in the road. But uh, um, for the most part, I've been uh, pleased with his um, trajectory. So it's, Scott, it's one of the things that you mentioned more than five. We're going to need more than five to play this year, even with a shortened season, with the inexperience that we have. And, um, uh, you, you know, even looking at some of the conditioning that we lost over the course of the last six months is we're going to have to have the ability to play multiple guys. Thank you. Derek Young. Hey, Kev, uh with the off season the way it was and really not getting to work with your group probably on the field as much as you'd like how comfortable are you with breaking in an entirely new offensive line eventually is a challenge and it's the thing that we continually talk about is the biggest thing that we lack is experience and there's not anything that we can do or that we can have control pull over that would gain that experience, you know, whether it's uh, and I'm primarily talking about game experience. So, you know, we have to have that, that much more seeing our preparation in what coach would call the unrequired of um, taking it upon ourselves to continue to work ourselves into game shape, but then also understanding um, that we need to go a little bit of the extra mile to watch extra film, to see the entities of where we are offensively. So fortunately we can't control, no one can control with our preparation and our finish. And what I'm about with this group is our ability to be physical. Now, again, I go back to the consistent. Um, we need to be much more consistent in that man. Adam Meyer. Adam Meyer. I'm a very hard worker, a walk on from Butler Community College. He learned from Adam Holtar last year. Just what do you have to say on Noah and how much of an effect do you think he has on the rest of the offensive line? He has a huge impact on the other um, offensive linemen. Noah does a phenomenal job uh, studying the game. Um, he plays the game the right way, and um, and he's a great leader for our group. And you know when we um, when that confidence is being indented, who's rallying that group? You guys understand with our offense is our communication um, really be <coughs> really begins. So his ability to communicate is going in the right direction has been phenomenal. So a walk on a transition guy never played center before. Uh, I couldn't be more 
are pleased with. Arnie. Arnie. Might be muted. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, right. You talked about uh, consistency and uh, game experience, and also I presume chemistry with the line is is key. Is there anything you could season with your meetings or anything to try to enhance that when you didn't have them on the field? Well, you know, there's really no way um to kind of make up for lack of experience when you don't have the ability to get guys in competitive situations so we took against we could to um, um rules to him to have quizzes we uh um tried to get that mental aspect really honed in allowing them to focus in on kind of what you um being cohesive so that's those are the things that we've got to really work on now however what we really tried to be very measured in our planning was let's take that mental aspect out of it as much as possible so we're not thinking at the line if you are going on play with each and every concept and now we can focus on um building that, that cohesive scene on our technique and focusing on our finish also wanted to just ask you a little bit about josh trevis what um uh, what have you seen from him so obviously he's your most experienced from him well i need him to be a um not just a good player, we need him to be a great player. We need to, him to have uh, the ability to be one of the offensive linemen in this league. And quite honestly, I believe he does have that ability. Uh, he brings a ton of physicality to the game. I think he's athletic and I think he's smart. And just getting him to take that next step to be uh, what I would consider a dominant offensive lineman within the all right, let's get these last two minutes quick. Go ahead, Kels. Coach, have, uh, you mentioned a lot of names here, but have you, have you seen one who's a leader on that line yet? Yeah, I would say Noah Johnson's really a leader. And I like that Adler is continuing to um, develop and, and, and holding guys accountable um, within that group. And uh, uh, that's, that's one of the things, and you've heard, you've heard coach talk about it is that accountability within our team, not guys just taking care of their business, but getting out of their lane, having the ability to uh, hold their teammates accountable to what the expectation is, what the standard is that, that we have um, within our football program. Go ahead, John. Yeah. Hey, Connor, wanted to ask about some of the freshmen that you have in the program. Program. What potential do you see in, in what Mitchum Carver Willis and Taylor Warner on the offensive line? You know, the athleticism of Willis really stands out. You know, he's got length and he's got athleticism, something that really need um, on our offensive line. Uh, uh, wit. And I'm just how quickly is pick things up you know here's a guy who's basically has played one year of offensive line um, up in senior year in high school he was a guy who played primarily bend um, and deep, just how much he improves day-to-day -day basis you know whether it's saying on pass pro and the next day focus so his desire to continue to learn Learn easy. Um, I think he's on a great trajectory. He's in strength wise. You know, he's in that 265 to 270 mark right now. Um, and uh, and that's where we want him to be. I guess I'm probably most impressed with would be Taylor Warner. Um, how explosive he is. Um, he to uh, to use his hips. He's moving in there. And, and I'm excited about all three of those guys. 
um, along with along with Sam Shields. Sam is a guy I've been asking to to do double duty as well, playing in a little bit of center, so swimming. But uh, um, I'm excited very much in class.